everybody. This is Michelle with Creative Operation and Country Craft Creation, and I have a design team project, but it's a blast from the past, okay? I got a crazy idea because I saw some stuff online, and I was like, I want to try this. I want to take, I want to, you know, kind of check it out, and so I went through my past design team scraps, so I have like a ton because I can't, you know, throw anything away. I've been on the design team for what, three years now, I think? And so I still have all kinds of different like scraps and different little bits and pieces and stuff like that, which is really fun if you want to make super small projects or scrap projects, make cards, you know, all that stuff. I just keep them because every once in a while, like inspiration hits. So I had this idea for this envelope flip album uh, based on some stuff that I had seen online and I've seen a lot of them so I don't know where it originated I can't really give um you know like a link to something but I I decided to go through my design team projects my old scraps and make this and it turned out really cute so and it kind of morphed because I had an idea when I first started it and then it morphed into something else so let me show you um what I did now I did use these are all papers from past design teams so I've used let's see I'll give you the list Echo Park's farmhouse market I've used um Cartabella's farmhouse summer I use simple stories hearth and home I use let's see authentiques endless I've used let's see uh Cartabella's farmhouse living I've used <laughs> simple stories simple vintage ancestry Cartabella's Hello Autumn and Echo Park's Winter and let's see Cartabella's Home Again. So I use, let's see, how many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I say Simple Stories, Hearth and Home? Nine different design team packages, scraps went into making this and it turned into something gorgeous. I just, I just have to show this to you. It, at first I wanted it to be kind of like, um, a theme like with florals and, you know, yellows and things like that. Well, then it evolved and it turned into a spring, summer, fall, winter flip album. Let me show you what I mean. So it's made out of one tag and a bunch of different envelopes from my stash. These are just craft envelopes that I pulled from my card making stash and put together. Um, I used ribbon for my stash on this, but like this, I did a tutorial on like patchwork paper and um, this was um, home again. And I just thought it was kind of a cute way to put the back on the um, album. And I had this patchwork paper made already. I just had to cut it to fit. So I'm, you know, like I said, I'm using scraps from my kits. So we'll start off here. I did the ribbon just to keep it closed and I used this tag to keep it closed. I just thread the, um, the ribbon through the hole in the tag and then it opens up and then I just added like little pockets and like, look, little scraps. I made tags. This one is actually a little flip and created some fun. So this has a little um, cut apart that I have left over. I just made a place for a photo mat. So it kind of started off kind of springy and I used some papers here and use the little cut aparts. This was from a six by six pad that I had in the design team package. And you know, this is an envelope. So it has, you know, places to add things. I had some extra pattern paper left over. I just made some photo mats and stuck them in the pocket. So you can see that I decorated with a little piece of brad I had left over. I didn't have enough paper here, so I had to create a frame to frame it. But this was a cut apart here. And you can kind of see how the theme kind of evolves and it goes from spring into summer. And again, I had some leftover cut aparts. So this was a nice little happy home for these. And then I had this and it's a chipboard frame, had it left over, didn't know what to do with it. So I did it so that I could tuck a picture behind it, made a perfect page for that front of the album. And then here's another patchwork page that I did added a sticker here and here and then in here I had some leftovers from the kits um, I made a tag here here's a recipe for Sunday fried chicken that was actually on the pattern paper um, we have a booklet here um, and then a recipe card for my stash that I put some of the stickers on and decorated that so I, I don't know it just kind of evolved so like we're kind of into summer here and then oh look here's fall so we had 
this I had this big envelope here. I just did a simple belly band, glued it here, here, and here, and I made places for extra pieces of um, paper that I cut into tags. This was so much fun to put together, and it was so much fun to mix and match the papers, and honestly, I think it really turned out. So then you turn here, here's the same, you know, types of color schemes. So we've got fall going on in here. Um, I've got a pocket here, and I have a pocket here, and I, you know, photo map opportunity, and then when you open it up, you kind of get into more wintry kind of look and feel here. There's an envelope here. I made a tag here. Um, this is a booklet tag, so you can put a lot in there. And then in here, I have another one. And then in the middle, we kind of have a more winter theme here. So I took a big envelope and I kind of took it apart because like the flap was on this side and it was supposed to load in this way, but I took it apart here really carefully and I lifted that flap up so that it was taller than these envelopes and then I decorated it. I added a pocket here. Here's a chipboard piece and then some extra tags, um, cut aparts that I had. Um, and then inside this pocket, there's a it's a big envelope, so there's a big pocket. So I had some extra cut aparts that I used in there. So this is kind of... Um, this was fun, so it kind of evolves through the book and through the seasons and starts, and, and when you look at it, you don't know, you know, how this is going to go. All the colors seem to blend, they seem to match, but we've got spring, and it evolves into summer, and then it evolves into fall, and then you have your winter here, and I just thought... I just, I thought it was a kind of a cool idea. So anyway, um, I wanted to share this. Now, I did go through my stash, and I'll show you how I put this together. Um, I won't decorate it, but I also um, want to show you I did take some white envelopes. All you got to do is grab like a handful of different size envelopes. So I made this one. This is a coin envelope, and then you have an envelope. Here's a square one. Um, this one here, I attached two envelopes to to make it. Um, this is a long envelope, and again, a flap here. A smaller one on the inside that is attached right here, so you have a big pocket in here. So you can see there's different things that you can do with this. You just have to grab a bunch of different sized envelopes. Um, this one here I left kind of plain. I didn't add a lot of flips and flaps, but you can see the last page is actually a ginormous envelope that I just folded in half and then created like a page here. So super fun things you can do. You just have to put them together. So I just grabbed pretty much the same things that I had before um, with my um, bases. So we're going to start with the bottom base. So remember when I told you that um, the back here, if I open it all the way up, the back here was a big envelope that loads from here, and then I took it apart. So what I did was I just seriously, really carefully just pulled it apart. And with some of these envelopes, they're like super easy to do that too. And then you're going to cover them with pattern paper, so it's not, you know, a huge big deal. And I'm just going to go in here and... We're going to put pattern paper on there, so if you do get a little bit of a rip, it's okay, um, because you're actually going to do that and cover it. So there you go. And then um, I flipped that part up. So this front will be covered with pattern paper, and then on the back, to keep that um, flap from flapping, I just covered it all the way up to the top and then that secured that so it won't flap you do still have the score there but you could totally put pattern paper in here too if you wanted to um, I didn't have enough because again these were leftovers from a design tea package so then I started with that and then I added my envelopes now on this one I put the envelope here and this again is why I tore this one apart because these envelopes were a little bit taller if I would have left it down then these would have been taller than that and that kind of bothered me so that's the other reason why I did that so I did the one envelope like that and then I did the other envelope like this so I just attached them like that so I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now so just to show you, I mean, and I was just playing. I mean, I just, I didn't have really any thought in this. I just grabbed a bunch of stuff and then just started playing. And then I grabbed my 
papers. And like I said, I had one idea in mind and it totally evolved into, to, into what it became with the pattern papers that I use. You could use a solid, um, you know, paper pack. And um, if I do finish this, then I will, um, I will show you, I'll, I'll do a video on that, but I'm basically just gluing those to the back and I'm going to make sure that I don't have any glue seeping here. Okay. And that folds over nicely. Okay. So that's first layer done. So I did figure out, you kind of need to start from the back and work your way up. Okay. So I did do it that way. So you have your two flaps there. And then um, I did the bigger envelope here. Uh, what I ended up doing, because I wanted to keep this flap here, because as you see, I added pattern paper to that flap to make another flap, okay? And just trimmed it down. So I wanted to keep this flap so it closes like that. Then I took this envelope here and glued that to the back, like in the middle. And this, this is like seriously all there is to it. And then, <coughs> then I just went to town with going through my scraps. So I'm just going to eyeball this like right in the middle, but I'm gluing it to the back and there you go. So now I have that flap there. Next envelope I did was on this side. <coughs> and this was the fun thing about the graduated sizes, you know, because you can just eyeball this. There's no measuring. Um, it doesn't matter. The only measuring is when you get the pattern papers on there, but you know, you can go to town with that. So then I just laid that flap down there and then I'm just going to glue that to the back like this. Super easy to do. And then I'm just going to butt that right up there and glue it down. So however many sizes of envelopes you have. Now, if you don't have envelopes, ladies and gentlemen, you can make the envelopes because you. I'm, I'm sure almost everybody has an envelope scoreboard, right? This little small square envelope right over the top like that. So I'm just layering them and I'm alternating them. That's all I'm doing. Which is really quite fun, I think. And then you could even like add more stuff to the back if you wanted to. I mean, you could do anything you actually wanted. Um, Cause this is a, I guess a free form kind of thing. And then the tag. So we need a tag. I used it as a closure. Let me show you. <coughs> Excuse me. So because this particular lace was really thick, I didn't want to put it underneath the pattern paper. So I put it on the top, which was kind of fun because then I could layer it over the top of my tag, which I thought was really super pretty. And then I put it through the hole and, and I just looped it through the hole. That's all I did. Punched a circle to reinforce the hole, but that's it. And then just tied it to the side. So if you have a thinner ribbon or you're using seam binding, you could put them under the papers if you want. It's totally up to you how you do that. Um, but all you do is just figure out how long you want your tag and then score it. So I think, let's see here. If I do like, oh, I don't know, maybe something like that, you could even just fold it too. And then you could put it your scoreboard and then just finish the score, okay? However you want to do it. It's like I said, this is free form. <laughs> this is free form and then fold that over. Yeah, that's gonna work. Okay, then that'll give me room, excuse me, let me pop that on there, um, room to tie your bow here, okay, and it's still kind of offset from all the other envelopes, so it still has that kind of asymmetrical, fun look to it, okay? This is cute, this would be a cute, like, junk journal type thing, um, I'm envisioning all kinds of stuff with this, so, um, yeah, there you go. So then just glue that down. 
I mean, easy peasy, right? Lemon squeezy. This is, this, this is super easy and it's super fun. So now I've got a pretty much an identical book. It'll open like that and then like that. Okay. And then we have this and this and, and you know, the options are, you know, endless, endless, endless options. So fun, 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 fun envelope and tag flip album. I thought was really um, fun to do. And then, like I said, just grab, you know, any size, you know, all the size envelopes you have, get your envelope scoreboard and just make a bunch of them. And, you know, you could do that to, um, as well. You could even do that with um, different colored papers. I mean, options are endless. So that's the end of kind of that tutorial. This is a blast from the past design team project using seriously nine different design team packages that I had small scraps left over from and created this fun, fun tag album or, you know, um, envelope <laughs> tag album. So grab your scraps, go have some fun. I'll see you again soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Well, hey everybody, I'm back and I just, I decided that I was going to go ahead and finish this um, envelope flip album that I showed you that I put together. And this is the design team package that I got from Echo Park called Fall Fever. I love the colors in this. The blues are what, you know, made me get this one because I just, I love the blues in it. I love fall colors, but the blue just makes everything pop, I think. But anyway, so I did this album. So this total size album. Now, again, it depends on which envelopes you pick. So, you know, just grab them and start throwing them together. So you'll have to, when you do this idea, you will have to do a lot of measuring and stuff um, because not all envelopes are the same and all that. But my particular envelope is six by 10. I know it's 10 inches tall. Um, so it's, it's a fairly good size um, album. I did use lace from my stash to tie it with. And um, on the front here, I used one of the cut aparts with one of the adhesive brads and then some twine. And I just thought that was real pretty. And then of course the ribbon, the ribbon is underneath the back pattern paper and then it's underneath this tag and it goes through the hole on the back and I'll show you that when um, I open it up. But it's just really cute. I just think it turned out really gorgeous. This is one of the chipboard pieces that came with the design team package. I just thought that that was a pretty little thing to put on the back. And then when you open it up, so we open it up and this is what I'm talking about. It, there was a tag here that I did for the closure and I just put the lace underneath that cut apart and then put it right through the hole and then um, put that pattern paper over top on the front and then I just left this blank for a picture opportunity. Um, one of the cut aparts here and I only adhered it on two sides so that you could slip a picture underneath there. You open that up. One of the little um, cut aparts that you can slip a picture under there and then I put in some of the um, the uh, journaling cards so that's in here and then this part here this is one of the die cut pieces that I got with the pack and then again you can put a picture under there that opens up and we have beauty fall here and then in here I have some more of the cut aparts so just two of those and that goes in that little envelope here. Then on this one here, I put a piece of the pattern paper as a photo mat and then put the die cut over it so that you could put a picture underneath. Open it up this way. Here's the envelope part. And in here are some more cut aparts. So lots of room for pictures and for journaling, that's for sure. Um, here is one of the cut apart or one of the um, die cuts that I did in um such a manner to make a pocket and then I put this little tag in there with some more twine and then one of the little chipboard acorns so I think that's really super cute put that in there and here are the tall envelopes and so I wanted to do something with those so I put a photo mat here and then um again you can put the picture underneath there and then on this one um here I put photo mats but I have one of the um die cuts in the middle of it. I put a die cut in the middle of this one, but no photo mat. And you can go ahead and put 
the photo mat um, or at the photos right there above and below. And on this side, remember we left this envelope flap on this side, so I covered that with some pattern paper and then I had some leftover um, paper that I just created a tag on both sides and just glued that to the flap. And that's just a nice little extra something there. And then here are the insides of our tall skinny envelopes. So I put uh, di uh, ah, journal cards, <laughs> I can't talk, in there and journal cards in here. And then we have our back pocket. So our back pocket, I remember we took the the envelope apart just so I have that top piece so it's a little bit taller than these envelopes here. And then on the inside of this, I put a couple of the journaling cards. And then I took a piece of the coordinating card stock that I had from the design team package and put a little scrap of paper here, one of the journaling cards. And then it's just a booklet so you can put more photos on this. So the photos can be four by three and um, four by six all throughout the book. Um, here is, you know, just like this, you can put photos under here and up here. And then this is adhered. So if you wanted to tuck something in there, you could. So, you know, that is my little envelope flip book. And I thought it turned out really cute. I love the papers with this. And I think this is really fun and it's easy. So that is kind of a cool thing. So go grab all of your envelopes and grab a tag and your papers and you know it's it's a free form album so there's no real concrete here's what you do it's it's really fun to just do it and be real loose about it and just be super creative and you know just just fly by the seat of your pants on this and i just i think it turned out really cute so let me know what you think and um stay tuned i'll be having more tutorials soon so thanks for watching have a great day and i will see you again soon Bye bye